Okay, that's my only stipulation. If I don't receive it, I will hunt you down. Yeah. I have friends who live in Taiwan. Uh, if we bring some stories of abroad to Taiwan and they might have some inspiration in their schoolwork or in their lives. My roommate this summer, uh, her family's from Taiwan. She grew up in she grew up in Taiwan until she was I think ten. ten. Yeah. She moved here. She got to choose her own American name. I think that's the funniest thing. Her dad was like, alright, like you have to go to school tomorrow, I'll pick a different name. And she was just like, uh, Kelly? And she's been Kelly ever since, which I think is really funny. But her parents, just, when she went to college, her parents went back to Taiwan. It's like baseball for girls. Oh, oh yeah. If you throw, like, underhand like this. And like this? No. Sure. Uh <laughs> no, not exactly, but sure. Yeah, it's mechanical and ocean engineering. Really a mechanical engineering degree with a focus in hydrodynamics, um, ocean systems. A lot of times students end up working maybe for big oil. I don't intend to at all. Um, I work right now in wave energy, uh, which is sort of like an infant. Yes, it's a pretty infantile technology. Um, I don't know if it will be successful or not, but I really enjoy it. It's a renewable energy. I work with. Um, they're basically like if you took a door and you flipped it over and you put it on the bottom of the ocean and it kind of goes this way um, and it pressurizes water and runs a generator. And yeah. Like yeah, yeah. So I had always wanted this. I came here intending to be that major, but. Um, so you still have passion for <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So there are a lot of groups at the mainland that work on many different things. And uh, you know, I'm kind of half up to date about half of what they do. Actually, I went to a high school. We had a major technology center. Uh, so I learned a lot of, I don't know if you guys know, like CAD, computer aided drafting, and CAM, and CNC. I did a lot of, it was called engineering technology. It was a two year program. Um, and I participated in that, as well as a program called Skills USA, which is it's this huge. Um, it's for skilled workers, pretty much. So students, it's students from high schools all across America, and they do um, everything from like cosmetology to like advanced math stuff. And there's these competitions, and you go and you can compete on state and national levels, and it's really cool. So that's what I did in high school. It made me love mechanical, <laughs> mechanical yeah. engineering, and I live about 45 minutes from the ocean. And I love it, oh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's definitely the biggest challenge, and I think it is for a lot of people, having that feeling of just like everyone. I think the biggest challenge I've faced here, I come from like a very, I come from a public school. It's a place where you're not really expected to come to school at a place like MIT. Um, and I definitely started at a lower level than a lot of students here. I, so sometimes I have trouble, and I think it happens to a lot of students here, where you just come home one day and you're like, I am the stupidest person on campus. Like, everyone knows more than I do, and like, how did I get into MIT, and like, what am I doing with my life? And you just freak out, and you're like, why does everyone know more than I do? And it's depressing, but then you get over it. Um, for me, my saving grace is that I know what I want to do. I've known since I got here. Um, so I really only have to be good at that one thing, and I put all my effort into doing that.